Hey hey, welcome to Derry Comics. I was gone a long time and I'm back now. I will explain why I was gone for so long, where I was, what I was doing and what we're doing today and what this channel is about, where it's going, where I am going as an artist. And yeah, first of all, I'm not going away as an artist, I'm going deeper. Um, I'm also working on the last pickup artist issue 3 and I'm planning a bunch of things for this channel even though I'm taking forever but sometimes it takes a while. I was also planning on doing a couple of videos in between but I'm a Capricorn and so I'm stubborn and the last video I talked about that we're often doing f like uh, drawings like this and you have puppets and you get great figures but then for me at least when I'm drawing the leg I have no idea um, how long this is and where it all fits together and how the muscles have to look and for that we have books like this, like um, there are tons of drawing books out there. You can Google it, you can Pinterest it, and well, but you should you should at least understand, or I should at least understand, where are these muscles are coming together, how a hand looks. So, drawing is really about learning and speaking a language, the language of anatomy, um, the language of storytelling, of all that, and you're only getting better. I was watching a video um, of a Japanese artist um, a couple of hundreds of years ago, and he said that in his 60s he really started his, his work and before that it was all learning and play. I wouldn't see it as that because um, we, are, we are all creating art and making art and striving to get better. So we should just continue to learn and grow. And um, yeah, and that's what we're trying. And this channel is also, it's like a comic school I never had. I know there are many teachers out there that, that are way better than me, are really cool, like David Finch has a channel and Richard Friend has a channel and a couple of other peoples. But I think that I have a very unique standpoint because I'm not only coming from the comic standpoint, I mean my language is comic um, and that's always what I'm thinking. But, and I think and I feel that I can draw really good, like that, that I'm, I have not reached my potential or not at all really started, that I'm starting right now. Um, and that's a good thing. It also means that, um, yeah, there's potential to grow. And also, like, the way I see art, I mean, it's cool if you. Uh, my 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 goal is to make a living from this, like through Patreon, through YouTube, through making great products. But also, the focus is always always also to make cool art, like that's fun and enjoyable, but also something that um, gives you something that nurtures your soul and that uh, shows something of this world that you haven't seen. Or that enriches your life because I think for me at least art um, is a means of bringing fun to this world of empowering people and making our lives richer more lighter and not darker and de more depressed like we should all strive for power and for mastery um, for the good things in life and also not only in the professional sense, also health-wise and in every area of our life without stressing out, uh, without stressing ourselves out. And it brings us to the point, where was I? Um, I had this in my um, collarbone 
am I right collarbone and last year when corona started um, I fell from my bike because I was riding the bike during heavy rain with yeah I wasn't I wasn't I, w I was already stressed out it was not just um, not just that I wasn't paying attention I was stressed out because money was um, getting tight workshops were closed school is are getting closed um, I couldn't see people like like right now so I broke my collarbone and everything came to an halt um, and then yet uh, a, a year later uh, now this got taken out very very uh, uncomplicated I went for surgery um, and within an hour or two I was out very cool like I have nothing bad to say about this this is this is now gone but I had to lay low for a week or two and it was great because I could do um, this was this was the thing I was then working on not working on I, I just had fun I was just relaxing this is my calendar where I wrote things down and I'm trying to make my own calendar and as you can see like I'm painting each month one of my heroes and I had uh, a bit of time to catch up on YouTube videos and other stuff and yeah this was what I was doing but now I'm kind of oops okay I picked it up later uh, now I've kind of cleaned up my life a bit and um, I figured I'm going all in on what I want and what I want is I guess make comics make a living for patreon be a teacher uh, a teacher of comics and a long video but you're already getting we're going back to the foundation um, to learning the language because um, you can google images of bones and if you start learning this I don't say to, you have to learn every bone and to name every bone but if you kind of get the hang of where everything is and I'm, I'm not advising any any books like if you if you want like I'm using right now drawing cutting edge anatomy or maybe some burn hoggard um, but just google uh, anatomy or the skeletal or get a book and and try to learn where ev everything is how long it is and this is what I'm um, catching up to or or getting to as you can see this does not how do you say it's not fitting it's not really good it looks a bit like a terminator but it's not really where the things should be but I was kind of finding out how does it all look um, as you can see I should study how to draw a skull um, how long maybe these bones are how long the rib cage is as you can see here it's too long here it's a bit better I was measuring then how many how many ribs there are how the ribs are aligned and um, as you can see this is one straight bone these are two bones how these are together and I'm going back to the fundamentals and learning the language of anatomy and drawing again and this is not one skill don't don't um, confuse um, this whole universe like I compare it always to playing the guitar you think it's a linear process and sure everything builds on everything else but everything everybody learns also different like let's make a bit let's make it a bit brighter okay I don't know if this is good now but uh, not everybody learns the same way but um, as you can see if you could draw a skull or if you memorize a skull and if you then if we then go from the bones to the to the to the muscles then in the third step um, and w if we if we uh, study even like this below this is an anatomy book 
you don't have to study it all you can also study it from your favorite artists and see what they use but this is just sometimes to re refresh things so you know where everything has to fit or where everything has to be or if you're missing something this is like a vocabulary like i'm not a native american uh, or english speaker and you can hear it but i'm giving my best and i guess the more i speak the more i listen the more i practice the better i get and that's the same like i was done as you can see the rib cage is too long then here it's better i was i was looking at where is the collar bones how do the bones fit together um, where the belly bottom is, the the arm is, uh, here fits the arm, the joints. Um, I didn't really know how this region looked like. Then I redraw it, redraw it in another, um, how do you say, drawing. And then I was looking at how are these aligned and the bones curve this way. But these are pretty much um, like these points are parallel and as you can see maybe not in my drawing because it's not uh, really good but if you can see these bones are as long maybe as the upper body I don't know if this really fits or if it's always the same but you can you can you can get an idea and then you see these bones are as long as from here to here and you're getting a, an idea and this is like um, in school, when I was learning English, you, we, we had to learn uh, vocabulary, vo voc vocables, uh, the words, I don't know how you say that, but the more you practice drawing these from time to time, like this is like an exercise to remind yourself where things are. And I think sometimes we should come back to the fundamentals and look and exercise these. Like I was counting um, on my drawing, six six ribs and then it goes down here and maybe i won't even use it but um, it gives me a deeper understanding of the rib cage or how much is there space in the midsection and there must be space because if you're rotating this in this direction the ribs would would uh, wouldn't have room here but they have and they mu must have to rotate and I'm, I'm getting a deeper understanding and I just started to go back to to looking at things and this is what we will do in the in the next few uh, videos so this is just a reminder just a guiding light that maybe um, before you before you try or only do this or only do this with the muscles you go back and learn a bit um, the skeleton skeletal and learn to draw all these things and when you know this you don't you don't have to memorize all this but if you get comfortable doing this and then you go to the next step and start applying the muscles and then you don't have to think about like um, I play the guitar or I draw some, some things and I don't have to think about it like I don't have to think about brushing my teeth because I've done it so often and yeah this is a long video but just for showing this is this got already better this is the female um of course it's not perfect i'm i'm trying to figure out i'm i'm not obsessing over getting everything right it's just getting it down but i get more comfortable because like this for me um already looks like um how do you say in dutch we say cravate <laughs> uh, like a bow tie and then I was, oh, okay, this looks like a bow tie. Here's the collarbone. It's definitely connected to something that goes in the back here. This is one long bone. The long bone uh, goes to the belly button. And then this goes uh, till here. And um, the distances, uh, like, or how many are there here? And I don't know if uh, all the bones are, are, are the right way, but I was counting like eight. And in the middle is one. And you should you should learn it your way and this already looks a bit better and yeah this is like my my guiding light go study a bit of anatomy the skeleton the foundation the skeleton um, in a video before that I talked about how this is not enough to draw well maybe it's a good start then we go here then we study this from all angles 
then we go um, back to or this is the next video to study where the muscles are and how they will pop and how they will be defined and then we'll see from that um, I, wa I want to do a lot of comic reviews and comics that inspired me and the channel is really starting right now it took me a while to set it all up but I was constantly also working on comics and other stuff which I will show you um, yeah a long video much talk I hope you enjoyed it um, if you have questions uh, post it down below I will answer them um, I will also do I have a cool friend of mine or viewer um, called Jagos he had some questions about comics and where the medium will go I will go into that in short I guess comics will always stay with us um, also bookstores and bookshops even though everything is online now because uh, we're human beings um, we're very much based on human touch and connection and sensitivity and um, drawing things and telling stories will always be around it's always been around like you can say comic is a new medium or movie is a new medium but um, something like the pen has always existed if it was a stick and or if you drew with your fingers on a wall 10 million years ago or I don't know but this has always been with us and it hopefully will always stay here so we see us soon and have a great week draw a couple of skulls and rib cages and have fun see ya